before we talk about lux and lumens, today we talk about PAR and micromoles, and now we have EPAR. And this is an evolving technology. So as science expands, we're gonna learn more and more and we're gonna be able to bring it to you here. EPAR itself, the acronym, was coined by Bruce Bugby and Shi Young Zen of University of State of Utah. They came up with this by a research study backed by the USDA and NASA to expand our understanding of light sciences and how they affect plants, as well as artificial manufactured light. These studies itself have broadened our understanding of how different wavelengths of light outside of 400 to 700 nanometers are affecting plants. We're gonna specifically talk about the ranges that our products, the iLogic, come into play when we're talking about EPAR. The major key emitter that we use in our fixture that applies to EPAR in UV is specific to the UVA range. And that range is the least harmful range out of the three different types of UV. There's UVC, which is the most harmful, and the largest range of spectrum. UVB, which is a fairly narrow range of spectrum, mostly causes sunburn and, and a lot of damage, and then UVA. We're in the very end of the UVA range. We actually fall really close to a violet range, and we will typically have the least damaging UV emitter that you can have on an LED. We do this, one, because there are gonna be people working under these, and UV can be damaging, and people have to wear special safety equipment to work around UV lights. So we wanna make sure that this is the least intrusive level of light that you can be around. Now, UV, does have some benefits, but before we dive into the benefits between UV, I do want to discuss at the other end of EPAR, which is far red. We're going to expand that measurement from 700 nanometers out to 760 nanometers. Now this includes some of the red spectrum as well as some infrared spectrum. For the most part, this is the total expanded measurement of EPAR, where it goes all the way from UV at 380 nanometers all the way up to 760 nanometers in the infrared spectrum. So we're overall including a much wider berth of measurement for our plants to increase their photon absorption in artificial lighting. What is UV and IR and EPAR going to do for you? So the benefits with UVA are increased root production. So your roots are gonna grow more productively and you're gonna have more root growth, which means the ability for your plant to feed more efficiently. Second of all, you're gonna have increased uh, essential oil production as well as flavors and aromas are gonna increase in, in the overall plant itself. The last thing you're gonna have is less stretching and more branching, which means your plants will become a little bit wider and bushier and it's gonna prevent it from stretching. The reason it does this is as it recognizes UV and UVA specifically, it's gonna stop trying to push through a canopy and that's your plant's biomechanical to UV light, meaning it doesn't need to grow any further to absorb more light. Now, far red is going to give you a couple different features specifically based around flowering. Now, it's going to increase the ability to transition into flower, meaning when you're ready to go to flower, far red is really going to help push your flower in, into that stage much more efficiently. Second of all, the overall size of your flower is going to be able to increase because the biomass of the plant will increase in, in general. The last thing, and probably the most effective thing to understand about far red and why would you include UV and far red together, is far red is going to increase the overall spectrum absorption into your plant. When they've measured far red in studies, Far red has a much deeper penetration rate into the leaf than other spectra of light and other nanometer measurements of light. So it's very critical for far red to be in your equation when you're looking at overall photon absorption. So that sums up our video on EPAR. I hope you guys better understand how this measurement is gonna be used in the future and why you guys should be looking at UV and far red diodes in the fixtures we have. Definitely check out the iLogic lineup that has these diodes specifically in there. It also has the EPAR measurements on our spec sheets so you can see how much more light your guys are gonna get and how much that's gonna benefit you. Well, we appreciate you guys staying all the way through our EPAR video. Be sure to check out the links below for further information about this video. 
always smash that like button, subscribe, set your alerts for the latest updates, and we'll see you in the next video.